This week we review a product that can add cinematic value to your film. Welcome to TGP Extras, I'm John the Schaefer, and today we're going to be talking about a PC equipment that's going to be able to take your films up to the next level. It's the Glide Gear DSLR slider. First, let's go over some of the specs of this slider. This slider has a 23 inch long aluminum track, has self lubricated rails, has a tension adjustment knob that can lock, has a level on the sled for accurate balancing, the legs are removable, it has a quarter inch opening on the bottom of the slider that allows you to screw it directly onto your tripod. It also has a quarter inch screw going through the sled of the slider that allows you to mount your DSLR directly onto it. it has a beautiful super polished finish and has a max load of 19 pounds or 9 kilograms. You get all these features for only $99. You can find it on Amazon and we'll have a link in the description. Now I can go ahead and tell you that this slider is more versatile than products such as the Pico Dolly. We actually purchased one of those type of products with the wheels and it just did not work for us. We could not get shots of the upper body because it didn't have an option of mounting on top of a tripod. And you always have to rely upon smooth surfaces which aren't always at your disposal. So this slider is already a big upgrade. I can go ahead and tell you that this is no Kessler slider. It definitely has its shortcomings, but if you know how to use it correctly, it can definitely give you some great images that are going to help your production value. Now we're going to do some tests that show you the most effective way to use this slider. We will start by conducting a support test to see if more sturdy equipment is needed to produce smoother shots. All of the following tests will be filmed in 24 frames per second. First we'll use the ground. Using the surface provides a smooth shot. The only downside is without a ball head on the sled of the slider, this really limits what you can shoot. Next we'll use an average 3 pound support Manfrotto tripod. After many attempts, it's safe to say this just didn't work. Whenever the camera got to the end of the slider, the weight would make the shot slowly tilt downward, totally defeating the purpose of a sliding shot. Lastly, we used our 18 pound support Davison Sanford tripod. This tripod helped deliver shots even better than the surface, and since it's on a tripod, I could easily adjust my shots which provided much more flexibility. Now we're going to see what this slider can look like at different frame rates. We will slow down the 60 FPS footage and to do so we will interpret it as 24 frames per second inside Adobe Premiere. If you're unfamiliar with this technique, you can click on the annotation to learn. In all honesty, 24 frames per second and 60 frames per second both look great. It just depends on what look you're going for. I find myself using 60 FPS more often because I can slow it down to my liking and get more time out of it. But again, it just depends on what look you're going for. Now we're going to go over some general pros and cons of this slider. The pros of this product are, it's affordable, it's easy to pack, especially if you're going on long trips, and it delivers great shots. Now some of the cons of this product are that it requires a sturdy tripod. Our tripod has a weight capacity of 18 pounds and it's smooth the entire ride. And also, if you're thinking, oh, I can just take two smaller tripods and balance it on both sides, it only has a quarter inch opening in the middle, so that's not even a possibility. That's something we thought we were able to do, so we ended up having to buy a tripod, which we're going to put a link in the description if you're looking for a good, affordable, sturdy tripod. It also has a pretty small rail. 23 inches may seem like enough, but when you got your momentum going, you finally got that smooth shot, it runs out pretty quick. Of course, unless you're using 60 frames per second, you can kind of get more time out of it. My overall rating of this Glide Gear slider is definitely a positive. If you're a low budget filmmaker and need to add production value to your films, I definitely recommend this slider. We have used this product in many of our previous projects, including our award winning film, A Four Letter Word. We had people coming up to us asking, how do we get those cinematic shots? And when we told them we only used a $100 slider, it kind of blew them away. And if you want to see more footage of this product, you can head over to our main channel, That Guy Productions, where we released a video where we use this slider the entire time. We go all throughout our yard and show how cinematic this slider can really be. 
And one more quick tip while using this product is just don't give up on it too quick. It took us a while to get used to it, but after we did, we ended up becoming pretty fluent with this product. And thanks for watching another episode of TGP Extras. If it helped you out, we would really appreciate it if you liked it. And leave a comment if you have any more questions or future video suggestions. You guys have probably seen a lot of our equipment, so if you want us to review something, leave it in the comments and we may get to it. If you want to stay connected with us, you can follow us at our Twitter at 383thatguy. Or you can subscribe to our main channel, That Guy Productions. Really appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you guys soon.